Yo, what's good with y'all in today's video? I'm gonna show you guys how to make a jump coil on Roblox. I am not going to make the actual model for the jump coil. I am simply just making it a tool that you use and stuff like that. If you guys want to make your own uh, coil model, you guys feel free to do that and then you just use the script. And yeah, let's get straight into it. Alright, um, my fault if I sound like a little out of it. It's like 2 in the morning right now, so I'm a little tired. Anyway. Okay, so first things first, we want to head on over to Starter Pack and insert a tool. And then we are going to name the tool, uh, I guess. I don't know why I was thinking jump power. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, guys. Like, it is late. It is like, yeah, no, 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 no. oh, yes, sorry, jump coil, jump coil. I'm sorry, guys. Alright, so jump coil, right? Then we're gonna insert a server script into it and you can call this jump script right and pretty much I'm not gonna lie the script is very simple and very easy it's this literally took us like two minutes delete print hello world and we're gonna make two functions the first function is script dot parent dot activated colon connect function and then in per, oh, sorry guys that is that is not what I meant to do okay Function parentheses close parentheses. I'm sorry. Then enter right. So pretty much activated is every time the player uh, clicks. If that's what you want to do, you guys can either have it every time the player clicks, or you can have it where it's equipped, which is what we're going to do. I'm sorry, guys. It is late. I'm trying my best. Anyway, so yeah. So every time a player equips the coil or the tool, I guess we'll call it, we want their uh, jump power to be increased. How high they can jump, pretty much. And when they unequip it, that's when it sets back to normal. So yeah. So the default jump power is 56. So I guess we just double that and make that 112. Okay. So then we will do script.parent, which is the tool. Then since it's in the player, if it's equipped, that means it's a part of the player's character. So we can do dot parent, and this is the player's character, dot humanoid. Uh, jump power this one not auto by the way equals 112 you guys can uh what's it called change that to whatever you want this is what i'm going with then you can really copy and paste this and paste this down here right then we're going to see unequipped now here's where things get a little difficult right we're going to need to write an if statement because pretty much when the person unequips it there's a chance that this function could run if it's like a second delayed or something it could run when the tool is in inside the play inside the player's backpack or if it's still technically inside of the player's character so we're going to just use a simple if statement which will cover both both scenarios if either one happens simply we were we we're going to do if script dot parent dot parent dot name is equal to back pack right so script dot parent dot parent which pretty much this would be the backpack if it's inside the player right then we can simply then we can simply move this up here we're gonna need, we're going to need to get the character by doing local character we're gonna make a variable local character is equal to game dot workspace find first child script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot name right we're gonna get the character then we are simply going to do Character.humanoid. jump power, right? Simple. Then we're gonna write the, the else if statement. So else if let's move this over just a little bit, right? So we're gonna do else if script dot parent dot parent dot name is equal to character, right? Or sorry, not sorry, I did the wrong thing. Dot parent is equal to workspace. Sorry guys. Then we're going to do script dot parent dot parent dot humanoid. We can simply just do it like this since it'll be uh, inside the character again. And remember, this is you're setting the speed. I mean, the jump power back to what it originally was. So yeah, there we go. Then I will disable requiring a handle. All right. So all right. So as you guys can see, I'll pull it up so we can see the change as it happens. But yeah, okay. So default to 50. Oh, it's 51. Oh, I thought, I thought it was 56 this whole time. 
Well, it doesn't really matter. But yeah. So, as you guys can see, when I equip it, when I unequip it, now obviously it should have went back to 51, but I, I, wrote, I wrote 56. It, it doesn't matter. But you guys see the point though, right? So, this is regular jumping. This is default. Jump power, 50, uh, well, 56, but you guys get the point. Now, this is 112. There you go. That's a mega jump coil. Pretty simple. So, yeah. If the video was helpful, leave a like and subscribe. Appreciate you guys for watching. Link, links to join my Roblox group and Discord can be found in the description. And, yeah. I'll see you guys. Scripts can be found in the description as well if y'all need them. So, yeah. I'll see you guys.